name is Llewellyn Griffiths, I also like to be known as Nile Pudding on the internet, and welcome to my tips and tricks video for Magicka Wizard Wars. While this video is mainly for beginners, there may be a few things here and there that even some experienced players don't know, so I would recommend you stay around and perhaps you'll learn something new. Did you know you can instantly freeze any character by launching a fully charged DRR projectile in their face? However, they must be wet and they can't have a frost ward on, otherwise it simply won't work. Now once the character is frozen, they're actually invulnerable to any element except fully charged physical attacks, such as a DD projectile or a bearded axe cleave. Now the interesting thing about this is that it's really really easy to counter because you can just self cast fire and the water's gone, or you can give yourself a frost ward, which means that this tactic is extremely powerful against people who simply don't know about it. Magicka spawns two imps, however they aren't normal imps, if you look closely they've actually got small toilet brushes in their hands. And while Nature's Call itself doesn't make characters wet, the status effect is applied to anyone the toilet brush imps attack. Also toilet brush imps have a slightly faster attack speed than normal imps, however they don't do as much damage, so really it swings and roundabouts. Now this could be an interesting way to flash freeze someone, since this isn't an obvious way to make someone wet. This might be obvious to some, but you can cast spells by hitting all three keys at the same time, making hybrid spells and wards very unpredictable and fast to use, because you can actually see what elements your enemies are casting by the particle effects around their head. This is more of a fun one, but it does have a few uses. Casting QED behind you and QWE in front launches you forward once you wait for the rocks to explode. Now you can set it off early by self-casting fire for example, but it doesn't launch you as far. Unfortunately this means it has limited use, so people usually use it at the beginning of a match for a head start. Now this is another very simple one, but I've seen some players struggling against two imps. There are a lot of quick ways to kill imps, but one of the easiest is to self-cast SSF twice in a row. If you're low on health, remember to use rock armor or push them away with some water. As a final note, spending your time to kill enemy imps is well worth it as it fills your magicka bar. It might get you that vital revive or meteor strike. Also you may as well heal your friendly imps if they're low, as they can dish out a fair amount of damage. So that's all for now, hopefully you enjoyed watching this video, if you did remember to leave a like, or, or not, you don't have to. Anyway, thanks for watching, more tips and tricks videos will be on the way, happy wizarding and cheery bye!